hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this amazing super gold New Year's Eve makeup look so if you want to see what products I use keep on watching so to start off today's look I have already moisturized my skin I have been using the Sake Bomb by Bas Basica. I can never pronounce it. Um, that's what it looks like. It's so cool because it's actually like a jelly like material. And this stuff's really cool to me because not only does it moisturize, it's supposed to brighten your skin over time, which is really good for me because I have a whole bunch of like acne scars and just red marks that I need to get rid of this year. I am now going in with the Tarte Primer. I forget exactly what it's called. I haven't actually purchased it. I've been using one of the samples from Sephora uh, because you do get a lot. I'm pretty sure I've been using this for like about a month and it's still basically full. You don't need to use that much of it. Next thing I'm going to do because I want a little bit of more full coverage than what the Fenty, Fenty has been giving me, I have been mixing in my disgustingly dirty uh, Kat Von D foundation. So I do just do two pumps of the Fenty and then one pump of the Kat Von D just on the back of my hand. And then I take my foundation brush. I have been using this Wet n Wild like flat brush. It's really dirty, don't mind that. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with my concealer. I use the Catrice uh, Liquid Camouflage. Now I'm going to go in and set that with my ear spun. Next I'm going to be going in with my Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. I'm just going to take what's left of the Catrice that was on my Beauty Blender and kind of set that that way. What I'm going to do next, I am taking my Ciate London palette, it's the Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette Volume 2. I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and taking it going in and taking the color Coco and I'm going to blend that all in my crease. To darken my crease just a tiny bit, I am going to go in to this tiny little Tarte palette here and take the shade Fame and put that in my crease as well. I'm now going to take a Colleen blending brush and just kind of blend on the outside, smoothen everything up. Now, this is a palette I just got. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I have not played with this yet. I've only swatched it in the store. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and play with that for a little bit. Pretty. If you haven't seen this yet, this palette is absolutely stunning. It not only comes with a giant mirror. There's my mirror over there. And look at these shades. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to swatch a few of these for you. Um, let's see. This is the big shade up front. This one. Um, it is called Chocolate Gold. Ooh. 
pink shade is called New Money. Let's do two more. Um, got this silver shade called Drippin' Diamonds. And this green shade, Money Bags. are fantastic okay um, before I start anything I'm gonna go in with this black shade on the end called decadent and just put a tiny bit in the corners of my eyes I'm literally just burp, burp. Alright, next thing I'm doing, I'm taking a flat brush, and I think I'm going to take that gold color that I first swatched called Chocolate Gold. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on my brush. And we're just going to put that all on my lid. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, please. I'm now gonna go in and take the shade Rich Girl right here and put that um, above or right under my brow bone. Also gonna put a little bit in the inner corners. It's a very muted shade, it's very pretty. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm going to wipe off my bake. And I'm going to go in with the Sephora Los Cabos bronzing shade and do my contour with it. Now that that is all done, I am going to be going in with my Stilla Heaven's Hue in the shade Iridescent. Now, just because I want to shine to the heavens, I'm going in with my Becca um, Light Chaser Highlighter in the shade Opal Flashes. I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, Comes off in a little bit of blue tinted. I don't know if you can see that right here. Now, since my face is all finished, I am going to draw on some Wayne eyeliner. This is the Fierce Flicks by Seattle, London. Next, I'm going in with two different mascaras. I'm going to be starting with the Tartia's Lash Paint by Tarte, and then going in with the Lash Princess by Essence. Next, I'm going in with some eyebrow products. I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Going 
in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And last but not least, I'm going to throw on some liquid lipstick. This is the Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Sydney. All right, and that is my finished New Year's Eve makeup look for you. I hope you all have a great holiday. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see next time. See you later.